Listen, if you're going to make it in this game, you have got to be coachable. And today I'm going to give you three P's that you should consider every single time you're given advice by somebody that you seek to coach you. Come on, let's go talk. I've got a couple of pet peeves when I coach people. And so I'm gonna tell you guys, I see these things happen all the time, consistently. And it's from the people who aren't being successful. So I'm sharing three things today that you can do to be coachable, because that's the number one thing you have to do to be successful, really in any industry, because you can't be an expert at it all. You gotta find those mentors that are, that can take your game to another level. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you you have to do is you have to pay attention. I can't tell you the number of times that somebody will reach out to me, book time, get on a coaching call, and I'll give them advice. And I can hear keyboards clicking in the background. I can hear them you know, doing other things, not paying attention to what I'm saying. And inevitably, they ask a question that was directly answered by the advice I had prior given to them. Pay attention, people. If somebody's gonna carve time out of their day to help you, give them the courtesy of your full attention. And do yourself the favor. You're gonna miss things if you don't. The second thing I'm gonna advise you to do is to practice. When I give somebody a technique of how to use a phone script or how to get past a gatekeeper or whatever else, I don't expect you to take my conversation and immediately run out and try and use it. You need to practice that. Practice your cadence, practice your inflection. Practice your facial expression so that people can see that you're happy and you're not tense and you're desperate for the sale. Practice the techniques that you're given. And then the third thing you need to do, number three, is put them to use. The reason I give advice when people reach out to me for coaching is because I know the things I'm talking about work. They don't work if you don't use them. And you shouldn't use them if you don't practice and you can't practice if you don't pay attention. But don't come to me and say, I can't book appointments or man, I'm having a really hard time getting past the gatekeeper. And I rattle off three or four different things that we had talked about prior. And you've not tried any one of them because you're just not confident enough. Your problem's up here. It's not with the actual techniques you got to get it through your head that if you're seeking advice from people who know that have been there, done that, and things have worked for them, that if you can replicate it, you're going to kill it in commercial insurance. But you can't do that unless you pay attention, you practice, and then you put the stuff to use. 